Hello, nerds. Thank you for joining me here on Nerd News Clips. This is the second channel. Uh, this is the place for all of the short form content as well as the individual sections and just generally speaking, smaller things. If you are into the longer form content, youtube.com slash generally nerdy is the place to go see that. With that out of the way, let's get into this. And that brings us, ladies and nerds, to the rumor mill. Let's talk about all of the new stuff that's kicking around. But first, we have some new sources for older rumors that we've been keeping tabs on. New source first has to do with the Fantastic Four. Remember, we talked about who was potentially going to be playing Sue Storm. Well, now all of the sources are pointing in one direction. That is Jodie Comer, I believe is her name. To play Sue Storm. I don't know who she is. I'm sure I recognize her from stuff. I just didn't have, honestly, because I had a bunch of information to sift through this week. I didn't have the time to look into what else she was in, so I'm sorry, nerds, I didn't do my homework. Kill me. Anyway, uh, yeah, so <laughs> Fantastic Four, Jodie Comer, Sue Storm. It seems to be that's the direction things are going. Uh, let's move. Our next news source has to do with Mind Hunter, the series over on Netflix. We talked about it when it was kind of, sort of, not really canceled uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago now, I believe. This series is super noteworthy because David Fincher, who is my cinema god, <laughs> is the man who is in charge of it. He is the showrunner. And uh, when it was announced, again, that they were kind of sort of going on hiatus, not really canceling the show, but not going to bring it back just yet for a season three, it was that everyone was just let out of their contracts because they weren't going to be able to get into production soon enough to make sense and so on and so forth. So when you let an uh, actor out of their contract, that means they can take other jobs and they don't have to wait for you to make a decision. So now we have word on the street saying that they're going to re-up those contracts now for a third season. And I'm stoked, <laughs> super excited about this. If this is true, uh, it's new source. Uh, it's, I'm, I, I can't, I, we're not talking about percentages for new sources. I'm sorry. Uh, so that is what we've got there. Let's move into new rumors now. And the first one has to do with, once again, Netflix doing kids stuff. <laughs> not. That probably sounds wrong. We're talking Never Ending Story. Uh, apparently, Never Ending Story is going to become a series over on Netflix, according to rumors. Um, I, I, if the Teletubbies thing hadn't happened, I would say this is probably about 50-50. But it seems that they are really pushing into more family and kid-friendly programming, Never Ending Story being a prime example of a classic kid-friendly movie and movie series. So I, I'm putting this one just a little bit above halfway just because I kind of am hoping that Netflix is starting to learn from their mistakes. So we're going to say about 55% likely, just because of hope. I got that hopium going. Uh, next, we're talking about Stargirl. This one's really interesting. CW's Stargirl is rumored to be working on a crossover episode with not any other CW shows, because if you remember, pretty much all of them have been canceled at this point. But the two HBO Max series that technically exist in the same universe, those being Titans and Doom Patrol. When exactly this is going to happen is not part of the rumor, just that it is want to happen. They want to put this on the screen in front of you, and how exactly that's going to work, we still don't know, but the fact that it's a rumor that they're working on it is really interesting. And we haven't had a proper crossover for, I think... A, uh, maybe even two years at this point. So I feel like they're probably itching for it, though this doesn't come from a great source. So I can't go high and it can't go very high just because it seems a little far-fetched at this point because of the two different entities involved, CW, HBO Max. CW is not 100% HBO anymore, Warner Brothers anymore. It's there's other entities involved in that. So that kind of diminishes the, the likelihood that this is going to happen. But HBO does still fund that show or Warner Brothers, again, 
synonymous. Warner Brothers does still fund the making of Stargirl, so maybe that kind of evens it out. I don't know. We're putting this at 50% likelihood because I, there's enough on both sides to say that it could go really either way. Uh, next, we're talking about... Black Panther, this is not a movie rumor. This is a gaming rumor. EA, the team that brought us the Shadow of Mordor game is reportedly working on a Black Panther game now. Uh, again, tech rumors, I tend to be a little bit more inclined to believe just because my sources for those are much more often right and I don't have many of them, so that is what it is. Uh, so I'm putting this, I'm gonna go about 60% likely that there is a Black Panther game in the works over at EA. That just kinda sounds reasonable. And then we're talking about Stranger Things. This is a little more meta piece about Stranger Things. The meta piece is that Sean Levy, the showrunner for the show, not the Duffer Brothers who created it and wrote it and produced it and all that, but Sean Levy, the 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 man, the driving force behind a lot of the things that are happening, is going to be expanding the universe of Stranger Things once the end of season five happens. This is not the rumor. This is news. We know this. This is, you know well-known facts at this point. The rumor is that he is getting help directly from Kevin Feige. Now, he has said recently, and this is probably honestly what fueled the rumor, but he has said recently that he is taking inspiration from Feige in the, the way that Feige has crafted the MCU. He wants to do something similar for Stranger Things. This rumor is saying that not only is he taking inspiration, he's taking direct dictation from Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige is saying this is the direction and that's how you do it. Uh, this is just such a middle of the road kind of rumor mill. I apologize that I can't commit on one side or the other, but maybe that makes it more interesting. Uh, probably not. These are two incredible cultural phenomena. Stranger Things is kind of the reason that Netflix still exists in a lot of ways. Uh, Sandman is doing a lot to help these days as well, but it's kind of their best programming anymore. So, and yeah, I mean, again, they, they made Kate Bush a multimillionaire be on a song she wrote 30 years ago. So yeah, just it's an incredible powerhouse of a cultural phenomenon. The MCU is that much bigger. So in order to get to where the MCU is, it makes sense. And in order to bring Feige in as some sort of consultant, I would imagine if anyone's gonna get the funds from Netflix to do such a thing, it's gonna be the guy who's making Stranger Things happen, but it doesn't come from good sources, and maybe the source was confused by the quote from Sean Levy in recent interviews. So there's a lot of reasons to doubt this. I'm honestly going a little lower than halfway there. I'm gonna say about 40% on this one, just because it does seem potential, but not super likely. Once again, this has been just a brief segment from the larger episode that has been posted over on the main channel, youtube.com slash nerdy. Go over there for the long form content or just subscribe here if you want it in bite-sized chunks. Thank you very much for joining me, nerds. We'll see you in the next one. Before we go though, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.